Here's something you really need to know about me before I tell you what I'm going to do in today's video. I love clothes and I like my variety, but I'm no fashionista in any way at all. Since I'm very frugal, I always buy clothes on sale and I never buy designer items at all, definitely not for clothes. I refuse to spend a lot of money on latest fashion items, which is full price, and I also um, had a lot of difficulty trying to find clothes that were suitable for me. This is purely because I had put on a little bit of weight a couple of years ago, around about 2018, 2019, and then eventually when I did lose weight, I didn't buy clothes that fit me properly, that was appropriate for me. So most of my clothes, or rather all my clothes, never fit me properly, and they were always drowning me, and I was never confident with what I was wearing. But I just made it work anyway. Well, what has happened has happened. There's no point dwelling in it and I really need to move forward now. At the time of filming this, I am currently 38 weeks pregnant and this boy is probably due any time now in the next couple of weeks. Once he comes, a lot of things are going to change and dressing up is definitely going to be one of it. I only have three goals for today. First of all, I want to look presentable and ready for the day rather than lazing around in my pyjama all day long once the baby arrives. Secondly, I don't want to have decision fatigue. I don't want to be standing in front of these wardrobes thinking what to wear every single morning or repeating the same thing again and again for a couple of days. In the past, I used to have a schedule for my wardrobe. I used to have a calendar printed out and I would write up what I'm going to wear every morning so I save time in the morning before I go to work. I made a video about this roughly about a year ago, I think. It's not the best because that was my second video in this channel, but you'll get a gist of it if you watch that video. I'll link it up for you so you can have a look at it when you have the time. So schedule is not gonna work with a newborn baby. I know that for a fact. So I need to kind of simplify my wardrobe and make sure I'm able to find what I need and look presentable every day. And the final goal is to not spend more money. I've already spent quite a bit of money buying maternity clothes in the last couple of months, which wasn't the wisest choice also. I didn't know much, or rather I wasn't thinking properly when I bought those clothes. Um, and so it wasn't very practical, it wasn't very useful. Some of it I just used it once, some of it I didn't quite like it. Some of it would probably last me for a couple more months, but yeah. It was a waste of money. So ultimately, I don't want to spend money at all. If possible, or else, even if I do have to spend money, I want to make sure I um, have the right choices and I buy the right things. I haven't really got a solid plan as to how I'm going to do this or what I'm going to do. All I know is that it is about half 10 at the moment. I'm gonna give it about two hours. I don't want to spend too much time sorting this out or I don't want to tire myself doing this. So I'm gonna try and empty my wardrobe first of all and then kind of wipe it down and clear it up. And then I'm gonna look through all of my clothes. I usually change my clothes seasonally. I rotate it and then put away the ones that are out of season in storage bags and in vacuum bags. Because I put things away, I don't see it. You know how the saying goes, away from sight, away from mind? That's very, very true. Because I put it away and I don't look at it on a daily basis, I don't remember what I have. So I'm gonna try and rotate my entire wardrobe, sort out everything. The last time I actually sorted out my wardrobe was maybe about six months ago. The weather is so good at the moment, so it's gonna be spring and summer soon. So all I'm aiming for is to have spring and summer clothes ready for the next six months or let's say at least three to four months, even if not six months. So that's what I'm going to do. I have all of my winter clothes still in my wardrobe and I need to take all of those out. And I'm going to empty all of these things. Ideally, what I'm looking to do is leave clothes in my wardrobe that are nursing and postpartum friendly. It doesn't make sense to buy a whole new wardrobe for nursing and postpartum because postpartum body is the most unpredictable one and it's ever changing. So I just want loose clothes, which is not gonna be so much of a problem with my wardrobe because remember I said I was a little bit chubby on the heavier side before and I used to buy clothes which were huger and drowning me so that's going to be easy I suppose because I've always been a bit out of shape and on the petite side I always look for dresses that have structure and shape on its own so that it looks good and presentable when I'm wearing it those kind of dresses are not going to work for nursing or even postpartum at the moment so I'm gonna put all of those away and I'm going to take out um, tops that are either button-up tops or loose tops or maybe even two pieces like jeans and tops or skirts and dresses that sort of thing some of my maternity clothes are nursing friendly also and most of these I got as Christmas gifts so I'm gonna keep all of those in my wardrobe and everything else is going to go into storage I'm not really keen on emptying it or rather 
getting rid of the clothes that I don't like but if there is something that I really really do not like at all that doesn't suit my taste my preference at the moment then I'll put it aside to get rid of it. I'm gonna put on my headphones now and listen to a podcast while I'm doing this and I'm also gonna set a timer on my watch for half an hour just to make sure I keep track of the time and then I will reset it every half an hour to make sure I am on track. I really don't want to be spending all day doing this at all. This is my hiding place for my chocolates. I love, love Ferrero Rochers and I refuse to share it with anyone. So I hide it in my wardrobe so that Lakshman doesn't look or he doesn't take it when I'm not around. I've cleared out one side of this wardrobe now and everything is on my bed at the moment and I've just realized if I were to clear this and the bottom row as well along with everything else that is on the bed it is going to get very 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 overwhelming so I'm going to try and sort out only this side of it what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through all of the clothes that I took up from this side I'm going to be very ruthless I know what I want I need loose tops, I need buttoned dresses, I need something which is going to be easy for nursing and postpartum which means something which is loose. So I don't really need to try anything. Uh, most of the things that I had on this side were my Sunday best. So I've got a lot of cardigans and everything and I also had some formal dresses on this side. Not all my formal dresses are going to be suitable for me after the baby. So I'm going to, I think that's going to be really easy to kind of organize and sort out. I'm just going to take everything that I'm going to keep and put it back in there and everything else that has to go into storage will remain on the bed and then I can empty these ones and sort these ones out. I have a feeling this is going to be quite painful. That section was so full but now there's only three dresses remaining and the rest are all cardigans. I don't know what is going to happen at the end of two hours. I don't know how much I'm going to be left with that I'll be able to wear later on. It's been two hours on the dot now and I'm finally finished with the wardrobe. I'm extremely exhausted but as you can see behind me at least that is finished. It was full. It was a little bit heartbreaking to see that my wardrobe is half empty at the moment. Um, on this side where I normally have my Sunday best, I only have a couple of dresses which is fit enough or suitable enough to wear up for occasions or anything like that. And I've got all of my very good um, cardigans and coats and stuff on this side and that's just my handbags over there. Uh, and on the other side here, yeah, these are the ones that I can wear at the moment. Um, for the next couple of weeks, about two to three weeks now. And the ones in the bottom section here are the ones that I can wear after the baby is born. And I've got some skirts up here and I've got all of my scarves down here. I have organized everything and coordinated everything accordingly. Um, I know one or two key pieces that I need. I definitely need a proper pair of jeans and I probably need like one or two um, good skirts which will go along well with all of these tops because I have a lot of tops at the moment and I just need something to work along with it and I don't think I need any more dresses. What I've decided is I'm only going to buy appropriate dresses for occasions as and when the occasion happens rather than trying to buy everything now and trying to, you know, kind of have my wardrobe ready. I think it's more appropriate to do that 
when the time calls for it. With the rest of the clothes, it made up a mountain on top of my bed. I folded everything and organized everything according to different categories and put it back in the vacuum bag. I'm just gonna wait until Lakshman comes back to seal everything and put it back inside the storage and either under the bed or above the wardrobe. I'm just too exhausted to do all of those things. I'm gonna leave all that for tonight. But the wardrobe is done. I have a clearer picture as to what I need and I will be able to take things out as and when I need them. And I've got a lot of extra hangers behind me over there if you can see. I've got so many velvet hangers and I've got so many extra and I'm most likely going to put that back in the storage also for now so that I have a lot more space empty. It's a funny thing, you know, as you grow older you kind of prefer uh, minimalism. When I was younger I used to love staring at an absolutely full wardrobe. My wardrobe used to be full to the brim because I never switched out clothes according to the season. I had everything in front of me, I just put it in different sections. Whenever I'm bored I'll actually open my wardrobe door, sit and stare at it and enjoy it. But now it gives me so much more satisfaction to see a wardrobe which is far more functional and minimalistic although i am no minimalistic in any way at all i'm pleased that it's taken me two hours to finish as i expected it to but i think the only thing that helped me finish it within two hours was the timer that i had set and listening to a podcast also helped so that i was entertained throughout the thing rather than watching a video if i were to play a video while i'm sorting out all of these things i think i would have been staring at the video rather than doing my work here yeah. and the timer kept me in check i knew that i was spending too much time the first half an hour and then i kind of sped up with what i was doing thank you so much for watching as always i hope you found this video inspirational and motivational to organize and categorize your wardrobe if you found it useful and if you followed any of my tips or suggestions then by all means go ahead and leave me a comment down below i'll see you again in the next one Bye.